Stefan is a real estate agent by day and a YouTuber by night. Or is it YouTuber by day and real estate agent by night? To be honest, it's pretty hard to keep track with this guy who not only does both of those things, but a whole lot more to boot. And as you might expect from someone in the real estate industry, he's living in some pretty beautiful homes himself, which we're gonna take a look at in this video. It's not a before they are famous, this is just the house doors. That's what Kara does on this channel. I do something else. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Although people do be showing up at my house, just to be honest. Leave her alone. <laughs> now, raised in Santa Monica, California, will Graham, he obtained a real estate license shortly after turning 18, and he dove headfirst into the world of mortgages and leases in 2008, working for the Oberheim Group as a sales associate. I probably butchered that name. It's Oppenheim. I didn't work there, sorry. Outside of real estate, Graham has become one of the most popular personal finance based vloggers on YouTube, making over 80K a month from his videos versus the nearly 9K a month he makes in real estate commissions. But with a man as diversified as Graham, well that's still just the tip of the iceberg in terms of how he makes his money. Now with another huge contribution factor are the six rental properties located around the city of Los Angeles that he's owned over the years. And these earn him around $15,000 a month. Damn. One of these six properties is a duplex Graham owns in Mid-City, Los Angeles that he moved to into June of 2017. It's like he's got his own Melrose place going on. I think so. We'll move in. If you want us to come visit, we're, we're down. We can pay some rent. And he recently bought a home in Las Vegas that he plans on moving into sometime early next year. Yeah, everyone's getting the hell out of Dodge. And by Dodge, I mean LA. I don't know. I like Vegas better. We're Vegas folk. <laughs> How's it going guys and girls? It's Kara here for you with a brand new house tour. And I'm Michael McCrudden and I'm her boyfriend. That's right. You might know me from another YouTube channel before they are famous, but Kara's been killing it here on Famous Entertainment doing all these house tours. So big congrats to her. If you want to see the full in-depth bio on Graham Stefan, go over to my channel, but uh, be sure to subscribe to this one. 95% of you guys are not subscribed and the girl's pulling in like some serious views. Anyway, I'm going to leave, but Kara, take it away and give her like a like because this girl's doing a fantastic job. She works like a dog. For real. <laughs> Bye. Bye. In this video, we'll take a look at a handful of properties owned by financial guru Graham Stephan. Now, Graham only lives in a couple of these properties himself, but he's documented these homes as well as a few of the rentals he's leased out over the years on his channel. And today, I'm gonna give you an inside look. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. All right, let's get into it. After Graham got his start in the real estate industry, he lived with his dad to save money. Around that time, he was only making about $500 to $600 every few weeks in commission as a junior agent. Despite this, he was still working 12 hour days, 6 or 7 days a week. So living at home with Pops meant that Graham was saving up all that hard earned dough with a definite plan in mind. Over the course of about 5 years, Graham saved up enough money to buy 4 different properties, spending a grand total of just over $500k in purchase price and renovations before renting those properties for a total profit margin of just under $1.5 million. Then, Graham bought a fifth home to remodel and flip in late 2017 in the area of Jefferson Park. He bought the home for around $600,000 and put in a further $125,000 to update and remodel it. Graham also took us inside this empty bungalow to give us a taste of what it looked like. Well, let's just call it pre-op. Being the resourceful guy that he is, Graham turned this home into two separate apartments, living in one half and renting out the other. All right, we've seen what it looked like before Graham moved in, now let's get a taste of what it looked like after. In that clip you can see the tiny but fashionable living room with its centerpiece fireplace, white walls and hardwood floors. Graham might be notoriously frugal but he doesn't seem to spare any expense when it comes to decor, with some tasteful and rustic finishing touches. In this clip you can see Graham's kitchen behind him. It's got a breakfast bar around the perimeter with a marble countertop and features dark wood cabinetry and stainless steel appliances. But no room in this home got more screen time than Graham's garage office space where he's filmed the bulk of his content over the years. It's a perfect space for filming. Nice and dark with well positioned lighting and then there's the decor. Between the posters in the background and the gigantic raptor head sitting next to him on the desk, this room practically screams money. Even with 5 properties now under his belt, Graham was far from finished. He even bought another place in October 2018. But now let's take a look at a home Graham just bought for himself only about 6 months ago. This new home is located on the same street that Graham grew up on as a kid, so when he saw the opportunity to buy into the neighborhood, he jumped on it. The property is a 
duplex with the main house having three bedrooms and two bathrooms, while the second house has one bedroom and one bathroom with its own private entrance and yard. I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely getting an Alice in Wonderland vibe from that tiny table that looks perfect for enjoying a cup of tea in the morning surrounded by greenery. When you pass through the front door, you're immediately standing in the living room. Next to there is the dining room where Graham likes to get a lot of his editing done sitting at this massive wooden table. As he works, he can glance out the nearby window that offers a peaceful and serene view. Now Graham's kitchen might seem a little outdated with his aqua blue cabinetry and its tile flooring, but you and I both know he'll do something about that at some point in the future. He's also refashioned one of the bedrooms into his new YouTube studio and guys, prepare yourself for some deja vu. Bold choice, but I can understand it. There's always comfort and familiarity, not to mention brand recognition. In terms of his master suite, Graham has a tastefully decorated bedroom with hardwood floors and an absolutely gigantic fireplace framed on either end by two massive closets. And the ensuite bathroom is also something that needs to be seen to be believed. It features stone finishing with a giant bathtub, his and her sinks, a steam shower, a skylight, and a small room that contains the toilet. Meanwhile, out back is a fully private backyard with a jacuzzi and small space for gardening. There's also a space for entertaining to enjoy that wonderful Los Angeles weather, including an outdoor fireplace because apparently this home doesn't have enough of those inside. All right, before we check out, we're gonna take a quick look at Graham's newest mega property, a home he bought in Las Vegas, Nevada. The purchase price of this home was over $1.4 million, which means that Graham must have broken the bank for the first time in his life, right? Hold that thought. Due in large part to topics like tax brackets and where he currently lives, Graham has decided to move to Vegas because even though the home will cost him more than any of his others at the offset, he's gonna save a whole heap ton when it comes to taxes. If we approach this from a purely tax standpoint, Las Vegas doesn't have any state income tax. That means on $3.2 million worth of earnings, I would effectively get to keep an extra $400,000 a year by living here. Eventually, owning this home will be basically making money for Graham. Now there's a lot more to it than that, but if you want to know all about Graham's secrets, then I'd suggest you head to his channel and check out his full video. In the meantime, let's get to what you guys really want to see, what the house looks like. As you can probably tell from that clip, Graham's Las Vegas home is still a work in progress. He plans on living in his Los Angeles home that he bought only a few months ago until the construction of his new home is finished. The total size of the place is just over 3,800 square feet with three bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms, and most importantly, importantly, a whole bunch of extra space. Through the front door of the home is a massive open concept living space that features cement-like tile floors and 20-foot tall ceilings. This massive living space is also where the kitchen is located with the large waterfall island and gray cabinets. The master bedroom features an entire wall that has been turned into floor-to-ceiling windows to offer restorative views as you try to encourage yourself to get out of bed in the morning. And because nobody likes to travel too far for work these days, Graham is transforming one of the extra bedrooms into his podcast recording space. A little bit further down the hall from there is the new massive studio space he's gonna use for filming YouTube videos. I know what you're all wondering, is it gonna look the same? Yes, yes it is. I'm gonna have the same desk, the same chair, the same posters behind it, the same lamp, same dinosaur skull. Hey, when something's working, don't fix it. All right guys, since Graham still hasn't got that house exactly how he wants it, we're gonna come to a stop there. Once he gets that place all decked out and up and running, expect us to take another look at it and let you know how far he's come. In the meantime, let me know what you thought thought about Graham Stephan's house tour in the comments down below. Which house seemed to be the nicest? There's no doubt that Las Vegas home is gonna be killer, but the other house he owns on the street he grew up in really impressed me. Besides the hideous kitchen, it's got everything you need, you know, except for a friendly tax bracket. Ah well, we can't win them all. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I love hearing from you guys. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!